in 1992. He captured Olympic gold, and now, as a professional, he has a perfect record. 27 straight victories without a defeat, including 22 knockouts and four world titles. From East Los Angeles, California, presenting the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super welterweight world champion, and now the reigning and defending undefeated welterweight champion of the world, El Nino de Oro, the Golden Boy, Oscar de la I gave your instructions earlier in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourselves and obey my commands at all times. Understood? Touch them up. Good luck. Bon chance. Charpentier says that the question for De La Hoya is, does he know how to suffer? Nobody has made him suffer in the ring yet. Is Charpentier the fighter who can do that? saw De La Hoya avoid eye contact with his opponent during the referee's instructions. It's always been his custom in the past. State of Texas regards Lawrence Cole as its best referee. De La Hoya has had four first-round knockouts in his career. Charpentier's hands very high, Roy, to deal with De La Hoya's jab. Yeah, but he reached for that first jab, and he's already wild for Oscar's left hook. And there you saw Oscar try the hook because he thought it was open. First left hook of the bout for De Oya. De Oya's handlers, Gil Clancy included, thinking that the left hook to the body is likely to be available here tonight. Chapantier tends to extend his hands when he tries to come forward. Chapantier short with a couple of jabs. De Hoya twice to the body. Right and left. Left hook to the body, left upstairs. Doesn't seem to be favoring the left wrist, Roy. No, not at all. He's already making the left hand very active in this fight. Chapantier mindful of pulling the right hand back quickly after he extended to throw the right cross. De La Hoya quite often uses the first round to sort of look and feel his opponent out and becomes more aggressive when the second bell rings. Charpentier so far making De La Hoya take the lead. Charpentier using his right elbow to try to block the left hook to the body. De La Hoya surely will take note of that and think of coming back upstairs. Because his hands are on the side of his face so much, Charpentier, I think De La Hoya's left up would be a big factor here, too. Crowd responding to every De La Hoya movement. Very few clean punches landing here. Cautious first round for both fighters. Straight right hand lands for De La Hoya. Two left hooks to the body. If Oscar can progressively make the right hand more of a factor from fight to fight it will increase the degree to which he's a nightmare for his opponents you don't come in against De La Hoya Roy thinking I have to stop his right hand no you don't do that <laughs> I don't think Chapentier came in to do that Cut. Oscar De La Hoya threw his first one with about eight seconds left in the round. You'll notice when we get to Charpentier that he stands in the corner. You'll notice Oscar's doing the same. And Oscar's doing the same thing right now. 
Okay, I'll check. Make sure he's, nobody stepped on these cameras. Get two of these guys. Push on back. All right. Our interpreter in Chapantier's corner is Yves Jean-Baptiste. Up, uppercut, uppercut, left foot. More jabs, more jabs. But be careful with him, okay? Work on his uh, damaged shoulder. Okay, remember he has a damaged shoulder, so work on it. Boom, the ball. Show him in a tick. Let's have him a chance. Well, a couple of years ago, Oscar De La Hoya had uh, an injured right shoulder. Hasn't been a factor for a while. Charpentier's strategy may be to try to extend the fight for as long as we can. Since Oscar's been out of the ring for some time, maybe get over eager. Well, I think Oscar hit him with a straight right hand over the top of his jab that hurt him already in the first round. So I don't think he really can take Oscar's punch. It's just Oscar has to take his time to set him up for one. Eloy indicated that because of the size of the crowd and the passion they've shown for him, he wouldn't mind if they see a few rounds. He wasn't necessarily looking for an immediate chance at a knockout. But he has had six second round knockouts in his career. Including the big one over Rafael Huelas. Santier so cautious, conscious of De La Hoya's left hand, he'll only throw his own left. He's thrown maybe a couple of right-hand punches in the fight, but by and large, he wants to keep that right next to his chin. Yeah, he tasted Oscar's power earlier. He doesn't want to take any chances and get caught with a big punch here earlier. Frenchman up with his jab, looking for a chance to land the power punch. Serpentier still extremely protective of the right side of his jaw. Oscar might think more of dropping the right hand over Serpentier's jab. Yeah, he's dropped it a couple of times, but he's trying to break Serpentier's defense up with his left jab right now. Hard left. Max Serpentier into the ropes. Talk about De La Hoya's punching power. His speed is obvious. It's easy to see how fast he is with his hands. But I always tell people I think his power comes from terrific technique. He really has been well schooled in how to throw punches. Yeah, he has. And I think speed is also power, Jim. Every time you see a guy deliver punches with the speed that Oscar does, there has to be power there. But he does throw beautiful punches. He was taught well by somebody, and he throws textbook punches, so they have to be powerful. Particularly the left hook. Left hook to the body, uppercut misses short. De La Hoya landing a straight left right through Charpentier's guard. Charpentier is like a heavy bag here. He's just dead in the house. He can do anything he wants to do, whatever he gets ready. Well, De La Hoya, father of, one-time lightweight fighter himself and a huge force in Oscar's career. In fact, when Oscar fired trainer Emmanuel Stewart less than a year ago, it was because his father insisted he do it. And you see the staggeringly one-sided copy box numbers through two rounds. Make sure your punches are inside. You're a little wide. You're working, you're working real well. It's just a matter of time. Don't get crazy now. Just be calm. That's it. A little more movement. El gancho, cámbiaselo enfrente. Ok. ¡Luis! A left 
left hook and a right hand. So maybe the Frenchman is going to open up and become a tiny bit more aggressive after plodding through the first two rounds, throwing jabs almost exclusively and using his right hand to protect against Oscar De La Hoya's left hook and left jab. Yeah, he came out as though he really wants to start fighting this round. Let's see how long will it last. De La Hoya's corner men, trainer Robert Alcazar, Gil Clancy, the whole camp, they like to refer to Chapantier as the piñata. Chapantier's handlers told us he's never been knocked down. I oh. thought that was a left hook as he pulled away, Roy. It was a good left hook. He threw a right hand and followed him. A left hook went back. That was another good straight right hand. I don't think he was hurt badly, but but there he he is dazed now. No three knockdown rule. De La Hoya doing a terrific job of using the right to set up his left hook. That's right. He actually had a left uppercut that time, I think. Yep. It was a perfect uppercut. And now the jab comes right through the center of Chapantier's guard. Frenchman down twice in the round. Very sharp punching by Oscar De La Hoya. There he goes. And that'll do it. Referee Lawrence Cole has seen it up after a perfect, short, straight right hand finishes the job. Well, he's got it right there. He's wide open for the punches. His hands on the side of his face. You always can hit a guy down the middle with his hands on the side of his face. And we talked about the technique. You can't throw a right cross better than that. No, you can't. So they get what they want in El Paso. The instant that Charpentier made himself just a little bit more aggressive, he became more available, and that was that. Most of the time, when the guy starts trying to throw punches, it opens him up to be hit with bigger punches. If you judge, even in a one-sided fight like this, you judge a fighter by how he goes about, in this case, the Torridor, how he goes about taking the bull out. I don't think you can improve upon what Oscar De La Hoya just did. Well, conventional wisdom in the sport is there's only one other fighter in the same league. Well, Oscar De La Hoya, everybody believes that to be Trinidad. De La Hoya himself says the toughest opponent for him would be Lopez. And there are people who agree with him. But the only place to prove it is in the ring. And we don't see that happening soon. And in the pound-for-pound pound sweepstakes, so often bandied about in the boxing magazines that cover the sport, and among the boxing writers in the sport, and sometimes here on this telecast, the only name that gets mentioned in the same sentence with De La Hoya is that of Roy Jones. I would put that vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> I would too, Larry. <laughs> Here's another look at knockdown number one, Larry. There you can see the left hook, quick left hook, an eight inch left hook. There you see it again from a different angle. As Charpentier elected to come in and fight him a little bit and cut that left hook. The next knockdown, which we'll see momentarily, is the uppercut. Is the uppercut as Charpentier was protecting his outside from the left hook. Body, body, right up the middle. When you're not getting any resistance, this looks almost too good. How will De La Hoya do when somebody comes out and is willing to stand in there and fight him. How will he do when somebody is hitting him the way he's hitting Charpentier now? That's what we haven't found. It's remarkable uh, this much into his career, there is not a single memorable f fight that De La Hoya has fought because nobody has given him that kind of stiff resistance. And the third knockdown, the perfect right cross. 
And at that point, it had become target practice because Chapantier, dazed from the first two knockdowns, no longer able to defend himself in the same way. Balance, timing, technique, all of it on display. Everything looks 